Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So here there is an Excel file getting the rows and trying to create a task. So that's a sample Excel file here and I can see all the mappings looks good. So what I did is I did created not all the fields, couple of fields, especially the the title mapping, which is the task slash project. That's the one it's mapping here. See that title task slash project. You can see here the value here is test one. So I got test and test one here also. Yeah. And the error we are getting here is it says it's a null value. But you know, when we look, uh, look at the first time, it looks good. Uh, all the mappings are good. The data is there. So why are we getting this error? Okay, so let's build this flow then. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use a manual trigger. The next step, I'm going to use the Excel connector. List rows present in a table. And my Excel uh, sheet is in, in my OneDrive. So I'm selecting those location. Then the file. My file is called employees. Yeah, that's the one. And I got a table also. So remember in Power Automate, you need to create a table to read the Excel file. Okay. Next step, I'm going to add compose. And just map those fields and you know task slash project. That's the one you know it's complaining about because that's a mandatory field in create task. You can see here, see that title task slash project. So let's read those and see, you know, what we are getting. So I'm going to say here, demo read Excel file. Okay. Right, flow run successfully. Let's see what we are getting. See, I'm not getting any output. If I click on output, it's blank here. So what's going on here? But if I go and have a look, the click download here from the list rows, you can see here the value attribute, you know, it's a collection of arrays, which is the rows of the Excel sheet. And you can see task slash project, it's test one here, but, we are getting blank there. So that's the reason here Power, Power Automate fails, uh, fails uh, that create a task um, step and says a null value was found. Okay, so how to resolve this? So going back to edit my flow and have a look at this peak code. So click on this three dots, go to the peak code. So you can see here, it's not quite right here. Because it's slash, you know, the it's been encoded into tilde. I think it's a tilde character, I think. Yeah, so it's put that character extra there. So, and also uh, there is something else also there also. It's called, it's like one there, I think, is it? So I'm not sure what's going on there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy that. Let's go back to that peak code again. Copy from the... Yeah, copy, uh, yeah, copy from the items applied to which up to the square bracket, okay? The highlighted one, I'm copying it. I'm going to remove this. Then go into the expression and I'm going to remove that one and the other character and putting, I'm going to put slash because that's what in my Excel sheet I got, remember, see that? So that's the exact name I'm going to give it here now. Let me close that. Right, and click OK. So remember, that's what I did. So items apply underscore two underscore each. That's the step name. Then the property, question mark task slash project. So I removed manually, you know, that uh, characters and basically you know, I put that as an expression now. Yeah, click the test again and I'm running the flow now. So 
So here it is. So we got the value back. So what we need to do here is because the Excel Excel sheet got that extra character. So I'm I'm checking all the other fields, other mappings here. So um, you know if you got extra characters and if it's coming blank, use the you know go to the expression and uh, put that slash. So that's what it was causing here for the title. I think the start looks okay here. Um, that's a date field. Um, and um, I don't know if that's the right format. It's um, the user wanted, but it looks okay. And um, then all the other mappings looks okay, actually. Yeah, um, there is no, there are no extra characters there. And also these are non-mandatory fields. So this was a mandatory field. And because of that slash, it was failing. Uh, so we what we did here is all we did here is you know we edit we remove that mapping and manually uh, you know click on the expressions went to the expression and um, you know uh, type exactly as it is except remove those extra character and put the slash yeah so that's a fix you need to do here hope this is useful and thank you for watching